there. And then what? You just you just grab them and shake them like a rag doll. Is that what happened? I love it. He ends up down here, splatted up against the wall somewhere. I'm gonna move into this room a little bit and see if I can't take a peek around. These these guys were coming from up here somewhere. Is there an entrance way or something like that up he, up in this direction? Uh, yeah, you can see a door there, um, and you can see a okay. door to to the west and the east of this room. And the goblins had been scurrying over this pile of rubble, um, also to the east, to the northeast there. <clears throat> so yeah, this this room is relatively open. Okay, um, can I do a wisdom perception check for smell to see if I can smell maybe some other ones in a different direction? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, so you, um, you smell a lot of goblins, this whole place stinks. But this particular room, <laughs> this whole you place notice things. It's um you, you know that the goblins usually don't ever come into this room. Uh because you can't smell them at, at all. It's just very dusty, old smell, and you can smell the grick, of course, but but no goblin in this particular room. And you can't you can't tell if there's more coming from any particular direction or not. Um so okay. there you go. They're afraid of that grick. They were afraid of that grick. And then that uh, I will end my turn on that spot. All right, Adara, back to you. Okay, so I can see Goblin 7 from where I'm at. Yes. Will I shoot an arrow at disadvantage um, or just regular? Yeah, if you move right behind Warner, I'll, I'll let you just shoot him regular. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, darn. Now I see a lot more goblins. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh. Well, that's oh. good that you're not rolling ones this time. Yeah, no, those that... attack there, but I don't I don't think that matters. I have somebody within. Oh, no, he's not in five feet. Darn it. OK, so take that. Nice try. Back off. The old college try. Yeah, I, I del definitely try. Oh, wow. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. So uh, we'll take the first two uh, instead of all of those, uh, but that's still enough to take them out, so no problem. Yeah. What a cheater. If I did that, I would get killed. <laughs> yeah, I would have taken revenge on you. Absolutely. Oh, that's too good. All right, Adara. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm going to jump over to the, disengage and jump over to the side, so that way they're not aiming at me. I thought you were going to help Rex. Yeah, you're still targeting Lupo. Rex is stabilized. <laughs> okay, uh, Lupo is going to uh, attack again, not disadvantage this time, but he does have uh, minus to his attack. He's going to hit me, watch. Oh, Ooh, thank you. Terribly. Terrible. Yeah, is. Goblin 11. You see hey, we're chance. wiggling down those numbers. Get into the fray. He's going to run up and climb over his <laughs> fallen kin. And probably be the next on the stack, actually. But he will attack with his scimitar. Yeah, we're probably looking at eye level now with all the goblins there that he's standing on. This is terrible. Oh, he's next. Okay, he's going to um, shoot with his short bow. He'll be at uh, dis or not disadvantage, but he'll be at minus five. <clears throat> not even close. Goblin four is going to move in, um, and he. I won't give. Won't give him an attack. 
but he's ready to take Goblin Eleven's place when he falls. Warner or Griffin. <laughs> All right. I am actually I'm hurting pretty bad. I am gonna go ahead and quaff one of my healing potions, so that's gonna be my action. So I will I will do that. So here is my healing potion and I will away, drink away. Ooh, get back nine. That's my action. And I will yeah, that's that's really nice. And I will pass it on to uh Brax. Alright, let's roll for Brax. Okay, he does not regain consciousness. Yeah, awesome. I looked at looked up my hit points and I was like, yeah, I can only probably take one more shot. Sweet potatoes. Uh, in my oh. little sweet bear form, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to uh, try and bite this guy in the face. Uh, oh, let's see. Nah, I'm, I'm not going to let you get through there with that. Warner's in your the way. Corner. Yeah. You, can't, you can't get back to that corner. A little, a little too tight. A little too tight. He can't get a bear claw through there to snatch at him. You should have yelled at me uh, when it was still my turn to get out of the way. I would have got out of the way. If you want, I'll let you do one bear swipe attack at disadvantage. I'll let you kind of just randomly try to claw him. Or you can, or with, you can do something else. With disadvantage. Oh, that sucks. Almost. Uh, yeah, that's a All right. All right. Bear, yeah, unfortunately, bears don't have a ranged attack. Yeah. Well, they got a Care Bear stare. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was so wormish. Sorry. Oh, Bear. You take out Lupo. <laughs> I did. The old Care Bear <laughs> stare. Go back. What did he do to you ever? Lupo's he dead. should have stayed where he was told. <laughs> we would have traded him. Mm -hmm. Okay, Goblin 11. He's going to make a scimitar attack at you, Warner. Okay. I feel a little bit better now making an attack if he would, were to hit, so. Goblin 3. Whoa. One skedaddled off. Uh oh, two skedaddled off. Back to you, Warner. All right, I'm just going to finish off this last guy here, number 11. Swinging away with uh, Talon. Oh, this guy's, this guy's gone, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so he looked back and realized he was completely alone, and then just kind of looked back at you, gave this kind of crooked <laughs> smile, like, hey, hey, sorry, I didn't mean to upset you, sir. Yeah, and as I just off. run my long sword through, oh, yeah. Ooh, that's it for me. In fact, I'm going to move back to Brax. All right. Towards Brax. Well, you guys... You guys are out of combat. So you can do this <clears throat> wow. I will do a. There are dead goblins everywhere. <laughs> yeah, there are. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to use my healer's kit. Yeah, so I'm. I'm oh, well, he's already at zero hit points, so he's already. He's already stabilized, so he doesn't need any. Uh, does anybody? I I have some spells, uh, but I don't want to use them left. unless I really have to. All right, I I have one potion as well. I just used one, but I have one left. Oh, let's go through Brax's things. Left. Does Brax have any healing potions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brax should have some. I'm sure he would. I'm sure he would probably. He wouldn't mind. Thanks for the help on this, Brax. He is, he is out of healing potions, actually. Okay. All right. Well, I will save the healing potion. I will use a... I don't have any lay on hands left. I will use cure wounds, and I will heal 
Brax with one first level spell slot. I will uh, uh, stay your hand. I transform out of bear form. I'm like, I got this. Uh, all right, all right. So he's back to hey, five. Hey, and then hey, re roll that. That's. That's no, that's a, no, that's okay. <laughs> no. I'm okay with that. It's five points. You roll it. All right. Okay. If you say. Oops. My first time ever using Fatus Grounds. My apologies on that. <laughs> Unbelievable. There we go. Ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. No, I don't mind. I mean, it's not heal. It's not my healing. So, <laughs> all right. So it looks like he's nice, up. While they're being nice to Brax, I'm going to start investigating the dead bodies for goodies. Oh God, I suck. Uh, I am not having good rolls for things. <laughs> So does it sound like we have any other goblins around? It doesn't. I mean, we don't hear anything kind of echoing through the castle or anything. It is disturbingly quiet right now, actually. Scary. Like, creepy quiet. Um, because this this was a huge cacophony of of goblins screaming and swords clashing and scream, you know, death throes and and gricks roaring, and now it's yeah. just nothing. Well, maybe we have vanquished all of the evil out of here. That's possible. I said we get healed up well, and let's let's find away. Gundren. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they're gonna go get friends. Maybe we should kind of speed things up so we can get out of here. Okay, Adair, you um, you basically go through each of the the dead bodies and you know kind of pull out their, their pouches if they have things. Most most of what they have, other than their, their weapons and armor, which is not particularly impressive, um, yeah. are, are, you know, totems, uh, you know, small carvings, uh, uh, interesting rocks, you know, just what, what a very primitive um, tribal society would, would hold as value. You do find a couple of what them that have coins. a five-year-old human. Exactly. <clears throat> you, you do find some that have some coins. And you manage to round up uh, 35 silver pieces and six gold pieces. All right. Want me to put that in the party sheet? Please. <clears throat> huh. Well, Brax, it looks like you'll live to fight another day. Who's a day? <laughs> Let me ask Tommy. <laughs> we still have potions of healing in the party sheet as well. Oh. I am going to cast Goodberry three times with my last three level spells. I'll take two of them and I'll hand out 10 hit points worth of uh, berries to whoever needs them. Oh my goodness. We've got a bunch of stuff in here. We've got unidentified items. Yeah. We've got. Wow. We've got potions. Ooh. We've got potions that we don't know what they are. Well, maybe we can get all. The, maybe we can identify all this stuff once we get out of here. Because I, I don't want to hang around here. I want to get out of here. So because, yeah. yeah, it's just too creepy quiet right now. I'm gonna give uh, War a handful of a handful of berries. I hand him ten berries to help us with his wounds. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, that would be nice. All right, so I will put myself up to a total of eight wounds now. Thank you. All right. I don't know what you guys are so worried about. I should have just left the goblin for 22. Yeah, we would only have like two of them dead already. <laughs> so now we need to go sneak around and see if we can find uh, our friend. All right, yeah. lead the way, Adara. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, that door's like wow. very covered. I've got so much oh, gold. Wow. I got two hundred and seventy-six gold. Unbelievable. All right. Like I'm gonna that. check out this door. Make sure there's no traps on it. I'm right behind you. Right okay. behind you, sis. Investigation check. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, it looks fine. Um, it looks fine. It looks, looks like a, a door. all the other doors right here. Okay, you open it up. I'm going to slowly open it, make sure there's nothing behind there. The wings open just fine. Okay, doors stand, uh, well, okay, whoa, whoa, stop right there, stop right there. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> okay. doors, stand, doors stand closed to the north and south with a crumbling mound of rubble partially obscuring the southern hall to the east. A broad corridor ends in two more doors leading south and east. Corridors cluttered with dusty rubble and fallen plaster from a partially collapsing collapse of the ceiling overhead. Uh, when you get to this point, however, there is a um, you you trip a wire that is strung across the hallway at this point, uh, and I'm going to need, and you're going to do a dexterity saving throw for me. Okay. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> so you only take half. Oh, jeez. Ouch. <laughs> I'm gonna need so I don't know why uh, I did that wrong because you should have only taken seven. But basically, you came across uh, and you got to exactly this point, and you heard a sharp ping, and you looked down and you noticed that there was a wire that you had had broken, and then you look up and then the ceiling falls on you. So plaster and wooden beams and um, uh, small rocks and some larger rocks, um, but you're able to dodge most of it away as you hurl yourself back, um, but you do get uh, you do get smashed up a little bit. And then Brax says something funny about, too bad we don't have anyone to look for traps. Um, wow. There we go. Shots fired by Brax. Which sounds like, yeah, I'll say. Hey, it's I'm perfect. Kind of that, that's, <laughs> that's, that's perfect. No. Said, right? That's perfect. He would, yeah. All he right. says, so, "He says you didn't see the ceiling." Oh, <laughs> there you go. That's what he meant. That say. sounds yeah. All right, so I'm gonna check this next door. Uh, it's uh -huh. Um, yeah, this one uh, seems seems uh, normal. It's not locked. Doesn't appear to be locked or barred. Um, and you can open it if you'd like. I'm gonna. Open it slowly, peeking in. Okay, the western portion of this large hall ends in a wall of rubble, but the remainder is still intact. This must once have been the castle's banquet hall with a soaring ceiling 25 feet high. Two large wooden tables with plain gonna, benches stand I'm in the middle slowly. of the room, and a, a large brazier, <laughs> brazier, brazier, Full of glowing coals is tucked into one corner. Dirty dishes, half full stew pots, and moldy heels of bread and gnawed bones cover the table. All right. Do we want to go this way, brothers, or do you want me to go check one of the other Might doors? Might as well. You're you're the one driving. Okay. So you can you can tell that that stew well stew is still on the over the coals right here and the. Um, uh, the goblins were eating when they were interrupted quite recently by some mysterious thing. Um, does it the, does it look tasty or does it look horrible? I was going to say, does it look Yeah, good? I mean, we it are half orcs. Like, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it looks like goblin food. So uh, I mean, we're half orcs, yeah. so I mean. Uh, yeah, half think, orcs could do it. Yeah, I dip my, exactly the did. tip of my pinky in it and I taste it. Mm. Mm. Things, not too bad oh boy no um yeah mm. you tell me i mean it's it's uh, made from like i kind of lift my butt cheek up and uh, tastes good to me all right uh, good to do then for half orcs uh, too bad oh boy yeah, half orcs yeah so i'll yeah, i'll check out me. this I mean, next door uh same thing uh here's yeah normal unlocked uh, you can put a, put a cross bar on this door from your side uh and yeah it opens right up there's no lock on the other side so peek in 
Yeah, you see a hallway. There's a door to the south there, and then to the north, more rubble, and there's a, a curtain that's just kind of, it looks like the goblins had fashioned this up that's hanging on a branch and kind of blocking your view to what's uh, what's beyond that hallway. <clears throat> oh, I definitely want to uh, look behind the curtain. But yeah, you can open that up. So again, more of the hallway. Uh, you can see a another curtain beyond from your position there. If you move in a little further, you'll be able to see more. Ooh, uh, another door. door to the east and the west. Okay. Well, I'm going to check out this door to the east. Um, oh, very good. Right uh, behind this us. This door is. is uh, you can tell that it can be barred from the other side, um, but there's no bar on it right now. So it can be locked, but it is currently not locked. Okay, so I will open and peek in. <clears throat> oh, found their bedroom. Okay, hold it right there, right there. Whoa, okay. whoa, whoa, whoa. Right there. <clears throat> Whoa! Again. And you oh, see some damn. stuff. Yep, oh, yep. I see lots of stuff. Ah! Brothers! <laughs> <laughs> I'll move you back here to this square. All right. Um, and you see, you see some hobgoblin warriors. And as you creak the door open, uh, two of them look over at you and, you know, eye to eye. And they immediately jump up Draw, you know, draw their weapons and uh, start barking commands in Hobgoblin. And uh, go ahead and roll for initiative. Ooh, let's do it. Maybe I'll roll more than a one this time. Huh. Oh, I thought I rolled a three. Nice. Not bad. We got we, we got pretty uh, good Jared, initiatives you, uh, this time. Uh, what's that? Oh, I was just saying we got pretty good initiatives this time. Yeah. Um, you did, and Adara, you get to you get to go first. You kind of initiated this by opening the door. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick this one on. right, you know, by the door. All, All right. right. That's, a, that's a hit. Oh, nice. So uh, he kind of stumbles back a little bit, clutching his gut. And, and then uh, I'm going to disengage and jump over here to the side so my brothers can get in the room. Ice Warner. What are you yeah, um, I'm moving on in. I mean, I hear... So I'm, I'm moving on in. Whoa! So I, I, I move in and then I notice all these hobgoblins and I I stop and I see the, the one clutched kind of in pain looks like my sister has already hit him so I'm going to go ahead and take a whack at this guy here swing talon at the hobgoblin whack away sir and I miss whack -a -mole. It, it says I have an inspiration still can I use that sure. or was, was that a did, the DM inspiration was the, the one that you had given me right so no, no you're good you can use that one all right, so I'm going to go ahead and attack again with uh, Talon as I am inspired. Ooh, well, 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 well used. That was, that was well used, yeah. All right. Ooh, That's so he goes down, yeah. And then I turn to the one on the other side of me and I point, him, point to him with my sword and I say, you are next. But you can give up if you want to, if you want to live. He he growls in response, and let's see what he does. <laughs> he growls and attacks. He responds with, oh boy. Oh, one's running away. He's running. I yell, he's running. We got a runner. So Hobgoblin 3, he's going to... We got a runner. 
uh, move slightly and then uh, swing with his longsword. Right. That's a miss. Hobgoblin 4 is going to move up here, and he's going to get advantage on his attack on you. That'll be a hit. Can I ask how he gets advantage? Martial advantage. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. Sorry, I'm thinking of a different creature. Martial advantage does something different. Let me reroll that attack again. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. No, I'll take that. It's only two points. You can go ahead and do that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that was a mistake. I'm not sorry. I was thinking of a different creature. Oh, it's no problem. <laughs> what would you like Brax to do? He finally gets 